because I get this question all the time. Well, I don't, I can't switch from Vim to Emacs because what if I'm remote into some server that doesn't have Emacs? It doesn't matter. You don't, you remote from your machine that has Emacs on it from inside Emacs. And you can still use your Emacs on this machine. And I noticed that your headings in Oracle mode are bigger because I yes. know a little bit about Oracle mode only. Like, is that mm -hmm. a default thing in Emacs? Like you can make the headings bigger. I don't know if you have any thoughts on PewDiePie's video. The headers of the table of contents and the descriptions, these are all just part of the literate config, the org document. I just want to hear your thoughts on Mac OS. Let's go with that first. Um, so my, my thoughts on Mac OS is if I need a terminal, I could do in my case, space TV is a key binding I have to toggle on the term. The term is one of the terminal emulators here inside Emacs. And I assume you can also configure SSH key-based authentication in Emacs, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, I'm pretty wordy as far as describing things. Like I tell you, hey, this block, this is what I'm doing. That's why. And that's it. Keep growing um, exponentially once you reach a no, certain no, point. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I remember, you know, really caring about my analytics in the first uh -huh. two or three years. What are your thoughts on Windows? Oh, so if I lose one of my three storage servers, I have them here. Where are they? VMs. These are my storage servers, um, storage one, two, and three, right? So I can lose one of them and I can still keep it working. I know I should be using something else like Ceph. Yeah, when I retire from YouTube, I'm putting Debian back on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 